Dr. Pooja is a, a you know, Sir Bajla is a consultant optometrist and a vision re behavior uh, therapist in one of the prime institute of the country, that's Narayan Nitralaya. And uh, she is a PhD scholar from Massachusetts University, Netherlands, and a master trainer, RBSK. So without wasting much time, I welcome you, Dr. Pooja, for your uh, talk. Thank you, ma'am, for such a nice introduction. And good morning, all. Thank you for calling me here. And thank you to give me this opportunity. So without further delay, I want to start. My topic is functional vision assessment on CVI. Uh, so what is visual function and what is functional vision? Uh, so already, as history part is already done, that is the main thing what we check for functional vision. And visual function means the visual acuity, color vision, visual field, and contrast sensitivity. And the visual function we check uniocularly and functional vision, how the child is doing the binoc uh, binocularly, we do functional vision assessment and how does the perform, child perform their daily living activities, that is functional vision. So in visual function, visual acuity, majorly we checked with LIA paddle uh, and then we introduced LIA distance vision chart and LIA near vision charts. So how we perform LIA paddle? So basically, LIA paddle, there will be a pad, there will be grating acuities. It starts with four paddle. It starts from 0 0.25 and it goes to 8.0. So we have to hide with a gray background and we have to show the child that the child is focusing on the black and white line or not. And then slowly we have to start from 0 0.25, 0 0.5. Like this, slowly we have to take it down. If the child is, can respond to LIA paddle 8.0, we will give them a visual acuity chart of uh, LIA symbol chart. That is, we concerned with four shapes, apples, uh, house, circle, and square. And we'll tell the mother to train them on that four shapes. And we will try to start their Le uh, LIA distance vision chart. So basically, how we do that, we use this light illumination box. This light illumination box is designed in three different, uh, three different amplitudes. And the vision charts also designed in 100% contrast, 50% contrast, 25% contrast, and 1.25 and 2.5. So this is 100% contrast. So what we have to do basically, we have to show the child one, one shape and the child needs to point it on the chart. And we have to introduce near visual acuity chart. This is also LIA chart. Basically, the cha we need to point one chart and we need to measure 40 centimeter distance. This 40 centimeter distance measurement is very important. And we have to point one and we need to tell the child to search from the down which one is on the same one. So ideally in CVI cases, what we do, we start to assess from four months, we start to do LIA paddle, we can do lesser age also. We doesn't do tack in uh, CVI because the TELUS equity require a proper head move, head uh, uh, the control, child needs to sit in a proper position and all that. But LIA paddle can be done in a lying down position also, any position LIA paddle can be done. But we try to maintain 27 to 38 centimeter distance to do LIA paddle. Contrast sensitivity, we use uh, hiding hiding. I don't know the video is not. Hiding Heidi basically. So Hiding Heidi is, uh, again, it's a, sm a smiley face test. So Hiding Heidi starts from 100% and it goes to 1.25%. So basically, we are going to hide one face and we are going to take it out. And we have to see the child respond. Child is responding to the face or not. And we have to document that uh, contrast sensitivity. So we get a lot of kids comes with us with a complaint of not looking at mother face. That is the major complaint we get from every uh, second day that the child is not looking at mother face. When we do the contrast, maybe the vision is coming around 4.0 CPCM, that is quite good. But when we will do the assessment, we'll found the contrast sensitivity is very less. So uh, already Liam M's literature review shows that if the child is not responding in hiding ID 5% of contrast, then the child will not have eye contact. So we have to measure and we have to document. When the child is reaching to 5% of the contrast in hiding ID, de definitely the child will have eye contact. One and second one, when we are documenting either LIA paddle, either hiding ID, we need to document the distance. That is very important. Because a lot of time in our clinic, we find the problem that mother will tell that every time the visual acuity, the LIA paddle or the contrast sensitivity is coming on the same thing, like 5% next three visits. But we, what we show them is first time the child is responding in 5 centimeter distance. See, next time it is in 15 centimeter distance. So we are increasing the distance. Maybe the plate is same, but the distance is increasing. So like that way also we can counsel the parents. 
Now next is visual field test. This is very functionally and this is very easy to do also. We, are, we use regularly Lia Wang to assess the visual uh, fields. So basically here two person is sitting, one who is going to show the light and other person opposite side who is going to observe that how the child is focusing on that. So basically from back side the child should not see the person hands so then they will, at, they will give that uh, response to the movement. So basically the front side who, which optometrist or whoever is sitting they are going to see the child's eye movement and back side who is sitting they are going to show the light in different gazes. Like this we do visual field if uh, we doesn't have uh, Leah Wang with us what we do we hold a black card up, uh, in front of us and we have to show a familiar toy to the child in different direction and we try to see the child is focusing or not and we document the visual field on that. Next is functional vision, dorsal stream function. How we check dorsal stream, you can see here, I had placed lot of ducks and with this duck, I had placed one teddy bear in center of that. And I asked the child that in among this all duck, can you find the teddy bear he found? Then I made it complicated and I put the same color one hen. And I'm trying to, I am telling the child to pick up the hen. Now the child is confused. So he is taking lot of time to pick up the hen. He picked up a wrong one. So again, I'm trying to motivate the child to pick up, but the child is not. So what I did, I tried to remove lot of other clues and I tried to make it more easy. And now you can see the child is picked up easily. So this is how the problem the child face in school as uh, Sudham I'm already ex explained that lot of people in school, they will have 6, 6, N6 vision, but not able to copy from board. This is the complaint what the child is having. The child can't see the crowding in the board and we are telling learning disability and all that. So if we can make the crowding little less, maybe that will be helpful for the child. This helps in our other, um, other assessment also, other therapies also, like occupational therapists and all. When they will do multiple things on the same place, it's difficult for identifying. When it's one at a time, it's easy. Now next is Leah mailbox, it's just for direction, where we are moving, the child needs to place sent on that. Now next is ventral stream function, this is first is size recognition, so basically this is Leah rectangle, we need to place all the Leah rectangle shapes and we need to ask the child to match with the same shape. Here it's Leah emotional card, emotional card is basically to train the child's brain, the, all the emotions of the mother and other people. So there are emotional cards, we have to give, place all the cards and we have to ask the child to match with other. This is Leah puzzle, Leah puzzle is for uh, color and contrast, so basically there are four shapes, so we train the child how to match the colors and the contrast. Now the visual characteristic in CVI, mainly there, are, there will be 10 characteristics, one is color preference, one is color preference, need of movements, visual latency, visual field preference, difficulty with visual complexity, need for lights, difficulty in distance viewing, atypical visual reflex, difficulty with visual novelty, absence of visual guidance, reach. The characteristics with dorsal stream, that is where stream and what stream. Basically dorsal stream is where stream and ventral stream is what stream. So basically these streams, the characteristics will be there in dorsal stream, color preference and ventral stream also it will be there. Need of movement, it will be more in dorsal stream, ventral stream, it will be lesser. And visual latency will be not present in both. Visual field preference will be more in dorsal stream. And uh, in ventral stream, mainly they will have visual complexity. Like that, the absence of visual guidance or reach will be uh, present in both. Now I will just go through a case because every, every day we will see this kind of cases. This is a 11 year old, 11 month old male child, first seen in pediatric department. The complaint every day we are getting not looking at mother's face, not able to reach the object, visual acuity not fixing and following light. There is a nystagmus anterior segment within normal limit, posterior segment mild global pallor. Again, say the icon major complaint of the mother is eye contact is not there, minex is absent, the child doesn't have any independent movement. Prematurity, birth weight 1.4, NICU for 20 days. If we are seeing every day in your clinic, MRI, HI. Uh, so in assessment, what we did, we found in, uh, with, uh, for each and every CVI child, we do dynamic retinoscopy to find how much is the lag. Without giving a lag glasses, there is no point of checking vision or contrast or whatever. So we did the assessment and we found that the visual, uh, the vision with, uh, uh, Mm, Leah pedal was with or without glasses, the child is not responding. The hiding Heidi was also not responding. And Leah went, the child is not responding to any gaze. 
What management we had done, we had given glasses, we had uh, started a vision therapy for, for one month and we had asked them to do physio consultation. The line of treatment was giving glasses and to improve their near vision, we started a vision therapy and light stimulation exercises. So in light stimulation exercises, we started off light box stimulation exercises and light ball. Basically, what we try to do on this uh, therapies is, you can see we are trying to give the tactile clue to the child because I, we feel that if the, we are showing the lights that the child is not responding because the child can see the light. So we try to give them the tactile clue that the retinal calcarine pathway will stimulate the tactopapinal pathway. Automatically, the child will start off seeing the lights. And we do a lot of light box activities. We do all the puzzle games and all top of the light box. This is a mirror therapy. Basically, what we try, we try to make the child on down to the mirror with the light box. And try, we put a lot of bindis on that top of the mirror. And we try to attract the child to focus on the mirror. This is the facial communication. We try to enhance the uh, face of uh, therapy, uh, optometrist. And try, the optometrist is trying to attract the child towards her to see, get, get their attraction to the eyes. After six to eight months of vision therapy, we did the Leah paddle test. Leah paddle is showing 1.0 CPCM. The social interaction was developed, the eye contact was good, and the hiding ID is showing 25%. And the child has started off responding to the all gauge of visual field. Then we introduced, uh, in between we introduced uh, Leah, all, all the, whatever therapies we are doing, we are doing all the puzzle, puzzle exercises and all, top of the light box. Uh, and then again, we continued the management with the glasses and the vision therapy. We shifted them to home best and we trust, uh, we, we advised them to go for physio and occupational therapy. And then later on, we had introduced uh, the vision therapy software that is Sinus Visual, Visual Integrator. So how we do is uh, we try to hold the child and we first train the child how to do that and the child will start off doing the same. And then we will give them uh, the daily living activities so like brushing, milk bottle, food and drinking, reduced cluster and all that. So what we do every routine a day is how we design, I, how we tell them to design the milk bottle. We'll tell them to take the milk bottle and put different kind of uh, tapes on the milk bottle and hold the torchlight top of the milk bottle that the milk bottle will give a reflection and the child will get interested to hold the milk bottle and get feeding. Even in the with brushing also put a different color toothpaste and hold a torch top of that that the child will get interest to uh, do brushing. Then food and food, if you're using a black color plate, try to use uh, like apple kind of uh, fruits and all that and don't give too much of fruits at a time, give at one at a time so the child will get interest to have it. Again, dressing training, wearing shoes, socks, toilet training, and mobility trainings. And this is the paper uh, what we prefer to, uh, we in our practice, we do every day and we use this, uh, this kind, these techniques of therapy. This paper is by Dr. Rajvardhan Azad and we do all these therapies and we follow this, this protocol only to do treat with a child with cortical visual impairment. And uh, this is the last one, <coughs> what I want to say that this is a, uh, a software developed by Narayan Netralaya. This is called Vision Nova. Vision Nova is a, a software which helps the child with uh, cortical visual impairment. It is designed for, uh, it is designed in an order that the child can take the software to home. They can sit and do it at home and the results will automatically come to us. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, Pooja, that was an excellent presentation uh, with so many videos, you know, we could really, you know, uh, understand what you are uh, Thank you, explaining to us. Uh, is uh, What's the cost of this uh, software, Vision Nova? I mean? uh, Vision Nova, as of now, we are giving it in free of cost to the poor kids, but later on when it will come to market, it will cost around uh, 18,000. This can be displayed as a SVA. Is, it's almost similar to the through SVI. SVI, so it's very expensive, so low, uh, government hospitals and all can't purchase. But this is only 18,000 with all the, if, if the person is having hardware and all that, nothing from our side. We will just give the software. Thank you. Any uh, questions from?